Life is a journey. We're all going somewhere. Life is good when you're healthy, happy, whole, things are going well, and you're at the top of your game. But life can also bring some disappointments and pain. It could be a marriage that didn't work out, loss of a loved one, maybe not living up to your own expectations, or maybe just trying to be perfect. Perfection in work, in body, in life. But who's perfect? Nobody is. Perfection is irrelevant because at the end of the day, we weren't made to be perfect. We were made to be free. Free from the hurts and the pains of the past, free from the hits that we've taken in life, free from the bullies that have pushed us into places that we never thought we wanted to be, nor thought we ever would be. I, I think that we all struggle to find light in dark places. The question is, how do we get there? What can I get for you? Nothing, I'm good, I've got this. Isn't that how we are? We don't need any help. We call the shots. We have everything under control. Or do we? See, if you really knew what we were doing, everything would turn out exactly the way we planned, just the way we think we've mastered it. But it doesn't work out that way. Problems come up and we solve them. And then life happens and we try to fix it. But trying to fix our problems on our own, it's exhausting. Sometimes our answers, they just don't cut it. But we keep trying anyway. Only to realize that we still need help. Even when we get the life that we want, you gotta know that it's not gonna last forever. Life is a vapor and our journey has a destination. We're all going somewhere. Time doesn't stop, never does. And after this life, there's heaven and hell. And we're either with God or without Him. We were all born separated from God. And no matter how good we try to be, we still miss the mark. God loves us and wants to be with us. But God is holy and He can't stand sin. But He made a way. God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, Jesus Christ. So that anyone who believes in Him will not perish, but have eternal life. This is the greatest act of love mankind has ever known. And it bridges the gap between God and us. Jesus paid the price our sins required. And his death and resurrection makes possible this personal relationship with God. And you don't have to wait until heaven to experience God. You can live life to the fullest now. God wants to give you his peace in the midst of your chaos and his joy in the times of your pain. And you can have this unconditional love that only he gives today. So are you ready to start your journey with God? <laughs>